M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So I have a little tip for you. If you've got a GD88, Kydera 880, or a Retivis RT73 DB25, and there's so many model numbers, and you can't get it to read because you're getting a data fail or a data error, a data mistake, this is the problem. If you're running um, certain firmware, certain CPS versions, it doesn't recognize a port number above nine. So all you do is right click, go to device manager, get that there. So double click here and what you'll see, well mine's nine anyway, but if yours is 10, 11, 12, it's not gonna work. So, and also if you get this thing where Windows 11, it says I don't recognize it, this is what you do. So click on the USB driver, right click, and if you're getting the error about Windows 11, just uninstall it and then run the firmware that you can get from somewhere like Retivis here. Look, if you go to support, look, uh, you've got firmware here and look, Windows 11 driver installer. Just run that after you've uninstalled it and Windows 11 will work then because I've got it working now. Here's the firmware we're all using, which is version 9.1.195, which is the latest one, has all the APRS, all that kind of stuff. But remember, it's got this thing, a little bug that it won't recognize the port after Windows, uh, after number, number nine. So right click, go to device manager. Okay, I know we've just done this. Double click ports and then double no right click the prolific USB to serial com port right click it go to properties then go across one tab to port settings and here you are this is all fine and then click advanced so 9600 works fine click advanced and see here com port number nine well if yours is 10 11 12 13 14 100 million whatever just give it a different number, just go like that, and then it will say what's in use. You know, if you have to free something up, you just do it, you can change it. But anyway, scroll upwards, they're all in use, but look, COM2, COM2 isn't in use. And then you can now go OK, yeah, like so, and click OK again. And when you go back to your COM port, uh, like so, COM2, and now when you connect your cable to your Retivis RT73 or GD88, it will read. I really hope this helps you um, communicate with your with these radios. They're lovely radios and I'm having great fun using them. So 7-3, catch you on air. All the best. M0FXB. Please remember to subscribe and like.